Honestly, she can be really dying right now. We are gonna follow, 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 follow
and I'm going to say that I have voted for Chris Christie. And um, I just want to say that I'm sorry. What are you <laughs> say sorry what he for? Say, say, say what he said, Sean. Go. Oh, okay. So <laughs> go. Uh, so everybody knows with Biden that he stutters. So those people who speak about he's sleepy Joe and they speak about dumb his cognitive, no, that is not what's wrong. It is because when he's being inter um screamed at, you know, and then and his son is being spoken about, he has to stay calm so that he won't stutter. So it's been said, allegedly, that Chris Christie um, um, told Trump to keep interrupting um, Joe because he stutters. And, and that will throw him off. So Chris Christie's going to hell. <laughs> I was just about to say. That's why COVID. he got COVID. Just saying. But wait, not only that, though. Well, Craig, that's why he got COVID, and the rest of them got it because Donald Trump didn't believe that RBG said to place the next Supreme Court justice in for the new administration. Don't you notice that all of those folks that came up positive were all there on that nice Saturday afternoon? Some of this, some of this. Just sitting amongst one yeah. another, not wearing masks because they weren't afraid. Because they weren't afraid of coronavirus. Now, do you think the same group of people, excluding Trump, because Trump he's in another world, <laughs> the same group of people that got it? Do you think they're gonna follow his lead again yeah. and not wear their uh, mask? They're gonna ride it till the wheels fall off. They well, have to keep that lie alive. Keep the lie alive. There was a report. <laughs> from the White House, from some of the staffers saying that they're worried, and rightfully so, because would be a lot of them would not wear masks inside the uh, White House because their bosses didn't wear masks. So they didn't want to go into a meeting or a briefing or whatever with a mask on. Meanwhile, the higher ups didn't have masks on. So oh, no. like, I'm coming in like they, this or every meeting. But they didn't. <laughs> and they said, now they're fearful <laughs> Because so many more people, there are political correspondents that or reporters that are there that are getting it as well. Mm -hmm. So it's like spreading around the building. Again, shame on those people who didn't wear their mask because you should always worry about yourself and not what your boss and everyone else is doing. We saw every day the numbers, what the numbers were looking like. The month of March and April, March, April, and the beginning of May, I'll be honest with you, I think we all were in a state of, oh my God. What the because hell? What is it? We, 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 yeah. Everybody was just like, can we get to the curve? Can we just get to that curve? Can we just get to that curve? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was yeah. taking so long to get to that curve. I think we were all on edge waiting to get to that curve. Were they not paying attention to the same reports that we were getting? You yeah, really but if you to have it? somebody that is like, no, you don't need that. That's like you having sex with a dude, right? And be like, no, we don't need no condoms. No, no we don't need no condoms. Like, where do we go with this? No, we don't need no condoms. <laughs> then you then you find out, oh, how many people in the hood was born because nobody put you the condom? Or you end up with something that you couldn't give back. <laughs> how many how many of us were playing? Who planned and was any of us playing? You know, Lenny's kids wasn't playing. <laughs> You, I, I know I wasn't playing. My parents planned me. They wanted me. Okay. I play my kids. Well, I'm very proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I did. But I, I must say that with the the debate, I think that Joe held. He's he's only hu you know right. he's only human. Right. And he was ready to box this sucker up the side of the head. You talk yeah. about my kids? You come for my kids? Do you know how much we could say about Trump's kids and we probably have <laughs> on some um, show? I don't, I don't know. But I, I, I have a newfound respect. After I found out that Biden stuttered, 
I looked at his debating style and his talking style mm. much differently. Because right. now I know, okay, he's stuttering. So right. it's not like, or, or he's trying to find his words because right. you see him close his eyes a lot. And right. I was just like, is he falling asleep or is he? No, you know, he's trying. He's trying and, to, yeah. Right. And that's why they were using that whole cognitive thing because when someone stops, you're thinking his brain is off. He's trying to remember. No, he's trying to get the but word out. It was him, That's what it was him making sure that he controls how right. the words come out of his mouth. Right. Yeah. And I think I think just knowing that has given me a whole newfound respect for him. Not for everything that he's done, but right. just knowing that. Because just being able to speak, mm -hmm. you know, in front of large audiences. And you know everybody and their mother watched that debate. Right. Like everybody had something to say on social media right. and all of the news out outlets had stuff to say. But I think within the circumstances, you know that everybody had uh, something to say prior to when they were doing his prep for Trump, but you had all that prep and you still came out and said nothing of substance. And I'm talking about Trump. Mm -hmm. Joe did try to divert and try yeah, to, you know, talk to, to America, talk. American people, you know, but to talk to the camera and say things, but um, Julio on the side, you know, like, what about this? And, and yeah, you he's, he's like an instigator. He was instigating his own fight. <laughs> you know, yeah. He said you were the dumbest in the class that you graduated in. He said you don't even know what college you went to. He said he don't even know what college he went to. <laughs> So you would not remember. Class. But I, you know what? I'm not surprised at what Trump did. I am not he surprised. Matter of fact, when all of them were going for the um Democrat with Elizabeth and who were booking all of them, mm -hmm. my thing was we needed to pick someone that can um go against Trump in the debate. Right. Because I knew Trump was gonna do that. He did that to Hillary. Right. So we needed someone, but you know what? I applaud Joe. Because he did an excellent job. He called him a clown. He told yeah, him every, and people people at, were actually mad at him because they're just like he he he, he, he told him to shut up. I'm not mad at him. You know why? Because he came Trump came ghetto. He came ratchet to the table. And if if Joe didn't say anything, then people would have been like, Oh, you a punk. How are you gonna run this country and not say anything? And knowing so, and knowing that Krispy Kreme is the one that egged him on. What you voted for? Huh? He apologized. You she said, don't leave your ass. Listen, what Sean Colley said. He said, you, that's the past. Let's not go through the past. No, no, no. Thank you, E. What did uh, what you call it say? Beta. I have, um, <laughs> for the color purple. Color purple, beta. I can't. I can't. Wait, I have something to say. I'm upset with Joe Biden's performance at the debate. And I listened to Bukhari Sala's podcast from the evening of the debate. And I was like, yup, that was it. That was it. Where was the Joe Biden that we know get a little flip with his mouth sometimes and say stuff that you'd be like, yeah. We needed that Joe that evening. Because we know when, when Joe was the VP, Obama would be the nice, calm, cool. Yeah. Hey, Joe, be like, Joe was the bad so cop. Joe was the bad cop. Yeah. Joe <laughs> was like, he, got sick. he got sick and he's not like that anymore, you guys. And no, that was my I concern. Think, I think, I think, that was my concern. I think that Joe listened to Obama. his team. Yeah. Well, I need to I need to um, send a text message to Miss Simone and tell like, her Joe yeah. got a lot of nice debate. We need that Joe back. He right. got a lot of flack from that comment with Charlemagne. Oh, a lot yeah. of flack. He did. So, and 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 45, and Metamucil brought it up. Uh -huh. Of course he did. You you said that they're not black enough if they don't vote, but, but um, Trump, what did yeah, you do? Like, like the faces that, that he made like, oh. Sorry. But you turned around and went into your whole law and order and Seattle and, 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 and New York and all of these places are the way they are because if we allow Joe Biden, what I found was funny is Joe Biden wants to take law and order away, but then you reminded him that he was the crime bill. Right. <laughs> so you can't yeah, have it both ways. Wait, he's not, in, he's not into law and order, but you attacking him on the crime bill. Doesn't that show that he is for? Okay. I'm so confused. 
but I, I need people not to sleep on Joe. There's a lot of people that compare both of them to clan members. They they said they're the, old the, white men. I mean, it's they had, they had uh, Joe with, with the, the you know the, the clan them outfit them with the with the cone. Mm-hmm. Joe's was kente cloth, but uh, <laughs> uh, Trump's was white. Somebody put well, that on. His, well, what was his daddy? Trump was a a clan member. Right. You know that. Right. Yeah. Right. Like, some, somebody had likened both of them. I, I saw it on social media. You know, people. Because they're old. They're both old white men still well, in that white they privilege. They didn't want a, if they didn't want all, an old white man in in there to be at as the front runner. You had Cory Booker. You had you Kamala Harris. Harris. You had you had, you had Elizabeth Warren. You had Tulsi Gabbard. I mean. Yeah. What's yeah, the what's yeah. the one? Stevenson was it Mary Stevenson? Is that her last name? Um, is yeah, it, that was that's the the the, the, the um. I like loved her. I loved her. I loved we her. Had so many yeah. options. She would have us singing in in flowers and roses <laughs> and crystals. <laughs> yes, I liked her. I liked <laughs> Andrew Yang too. Yeah, no, you, I like you yeah. Complain, but you can't complain about that. Right. That you have a seventy-four year old and a seventy-seven year old. All white men, you can't right. complain about that. Right. You had a whole of Democrats. There was like everybody, their mother was running at one time for um, but Democratic. They um, didn't think that they could beat Trump. At the end of the day, it all came down to who could beat Trump. Who could beat Trump. Mm-hmm. That's all it came down to. That's yeah. what that was all that uh that mattered was who, who could beat Trump. Be, yeah, who who can we um who do we know that's going to get right. out of here? Right. Well, you know what? Honestly and truthfully, did any of us think that Trump would have won in 2016? Hell did no. Did we all think... I felt did defeated. Did we all think that, that, that Hillary was going to... Yeah, well, well, she she did win. Win. At the end of the day, I still say this. I'm going to say this till I leave this earth. She, she did win. She won. Well, <laughs> well, we, right. We know that. We, we know that she <laughs> is, but... Again, so then, it, then that whole this discussion turns into getting rid of the electoral college, mm-hmm. and, right. and, who's really, and who's really Don't selecting? Stop saying never, Keish. Okay. okay. Who's, and who is selecting these electors? <laughs> no, you understand no, what I'm saying? Right, because right. the electors are supposed to be speaking for us. Who 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 are selecting the electors? And the selection process is kind of, and I ain't gonna so, go I mean, here. It's a whole matter of just doing away and doing away with it all together. Right. And that's part of that's part of reimagining the the whole structure of our political and judicial right. system. It needs a total like just throw it down the drain and start all over. Right. Just crushed and start it over. Be gutted. Yeah, and Keish, you know what we gotta we gotta we we're at the we're at a time where we have to stop saying never, never, never because we never thought that in our lifetime we would see a black man sitting in the oh, White House. Yeah. We had eight and years of a twice. black man. We had twice. eight years of I'm gonna tell black you man. The, my prayer is that Joe Biden wins. And if God forbid something ever happens to him, then Kamala will be president. Amen. And that's and that's just what it is. You know, when people are saying their best interest, if if we if we get another four years of Trump, and if something happens to him, we're stuck with Pence. Oh, Lord, that's even, that's... A, <laughs> and no one's really paying attention to that he fact was. either. Like, do y'all understand he that? Didn't, he it? didn't even want to relinquish rights uh, as president temporarily while he was in the hospital. He was like, no, I got this. <laughs> Honey, I got it. You know, but speaking of spineless back men, <laughs> spineless who man because he ain't black i said back spineless oh. back they don't they don't have no spine oh. in their back. oh <laughs> i i don't know i ain't gonna do it. not on this show <laughs> not except, on for on Daniel on. Camacool, except for daniel chemical okay oh, Lord. but rudy giuliani and his stink breath and I know his breath stinks because I've met him twice. <laughs> he has not. Like this was. I all actually said for high school inauguration, and his breath was stinking back. And then. his breath was stinking. 
And it probably and she will not- never forget and that. As you get older, your breath don't smell bad. <laughs> she will go stinky breath. Rudy Giuliani going to say that Pitts is going to wipe the floor with Kamala. Mm, 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 mm. And oh, what? In you what know, dream what? world? Right. I can't wait. I can't wait for tomorrow. I'm telling you guys. I'm I got my popcorn ready. Right. I got my popcorn ready. Please bring Cali out. Please, please bring the California out. Please bring, bring Oakland. You got to bring Oakland out. Oakland out. Please. I got my popcorn. I hope she, I hope she have her chucks on that night. Uh, <laughs> right. She going she gonna have the hair. Oh, Let me tell you. And the oh, pantsuit. I might put on a pantsuit and sit in my chair just, just, just for you know nostalgia's sake. <laughs> They won't dare to say something like they did for Biden about her child in her face and her not doing anything. If they oh, yeah, that's, no. her. that's not going to happen. I mean, they call her mama law, even though she had not birthed them. You know, she, mm-hmm. they better not talk about her, her step in the No, it's different with a mother. I want to do to that with a mother. So badly. I, wait, sorry. I wanted Biden to say commercial so badly so he could drag Trump when he said that, but go ahead. No. He was out of line by talking about his son. And out of line. Then the fact line. that he said, and especially that I don't have know Bo, it's like we all know Bo because that, he's that, talked that was, about Bo. And that was the disrespect. And that and, was you know, so disrespectful. People, and people should pay attention to that. You know, the people who are in the military. Oh, yes. Should pay attention to the this, how much disrespect this man because. Joe made it a point to also state that his son was in the military. Right. Yes, and that he was recovering, and that he battled um his no well de- well Bo was in the military Bo also. In the military. Yes, no, no, I'm talking about I'm talking about Hunter. Oh, right. Right. That he said that he you know he obviously he had a, a, an issue like all of us. Right. I'm sure his, 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 Eric looked like he be high. <laughs> Every day. But not only that, let's but let's but let's think but let's go to a lot of those people in those towns in those states and cities that you know believe that Donald Trump was gonna do all these amazing things for them. We know that those are a lot of the communities where they have a lot of drug addiction. Yeah. So what are you saying about those people who had a problem with substance abuse? You're disrespectful. So you're but disrespectful just, 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 just the military. About- you're disrespectful to people who had substance abuse issues, which is no laughing matter. Your brother, your brother was an alcoholic. Yes. <laughs> your brother was an alcoholic. And you still have something foul to say about somebody with an addiction issue? He's addicted mm-hmm. to, to Spotlight. Yeah, he is. But um, as far as that goes, with him saying what he said about Joe, he he took it too far. Yeah. And just think about it. As soon as Joe found out that he was in the hospital or that he had COVID, I think this was before he even got admitted to the hospital or went to the hospital, Joe took down all negative ads. He came out with a statement from him and Jill. Right. This bozo. <laughs> like that shows you the difference. Oh yeah. And just the person's overall human kindness. They were still running the ad showing the people rioting and breaking their windows and coming into your house and saying that this is what a, um, Joe Biden, Biden and America yeah. would look like. Those ads ran all weekend. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Chris saw one and he was just like, that's hilarious. Cause he <laughs> thought that it was like, you know. <laughs> He was like, that's hilarious. But it was a serious commercial. Obviously, I know the actors was horrible. And whoever edited that joint was just like, <laughs> but it was like. It was the, um, the, the mom's yes, uh, neighborhood. In a pool, you know, she, she woke was, up. Yeah. The mom's, you know? Like, yeah, like, the mom's for us. Well, moms, for whatever that was, commercial, y'all need to sit y'all asses down because y'all making yourself look stupid. This is Trump's uh, administration right now that all this chaos is going on under. I don't know why people are having such a hard time understanding that Joe Biden is not the president. president. COVID, 
did not happen under Joe Biden. And when Tr Donald Trump stated that, um, look how you handle H1N1. Look he how you that. handle he H1N1. Threw the H1N1. He threw that in there. He threw that in there. with that. How many people did, how many deaths did we have from H1N1? I think they quoted 45,000. How many deaths have we had from coronavirus? 211,000. By okay. the time this airs, we'll probably be at 213. Right. Because they said by, by December. The sad part. The sad part. By December, they were saying that most likely, if it's not addressed now, that we're going to lose 2,500 people a day. That is ridiculous. So that, you know, being said, it, it's, it's heartbreaking because you have an administration that's so hell bent on the optics. You know, the optics, you know, you, you, talking about he was winded go, going up the stairs. He don't have to have COVID to be winded going up the stairs. He's fat. <laughs> he sure is. I'm Wendy going up the stairs. I was going to say, y'all know, know I live in three levels. So I ain't going, got COVID. Oh, coming from downstairs and then to go into my bedroom, I be out of breath. I'm Wendy. Man, to go from my garage up to, if I don't want to go down, and I say, I'm going to just walk up, by the time I get here, they be like, somebody chasing you? <laughs> <laughs> like, no, just no, a little no. Wendy, just a little Wendy, that's all. <laughs> So this debate tomorrow with, with Kamala. Yes, I'm excited. I need the entire universe to understand mm -hmm. that you cannot win a debate with a black woman. You can't. We pull out screenshots. We pull out old pictures. Yeah, we, ten years like, ago. we pull out. <laughs> we got a backup disc. <laughs> <laughs> we save it to our emails. We save it to everything. Just it's case. all in the cloud. It's all in the cloud. <laughs> She's going to talk about stuff that he's in high school. <laughs> Kamala is going to, I don't know if y'all saw that um, video of some white guy calling some, it was a Jamaican dude, and I, he had to be Jamaican because of the stuff that he was saying. That's the only stuff that Jamaican dudes say. Or Jamaican people really? Say. Did you really just say that? I'm just saying, but the white dude called him a nigga. Oh, Lord. This dude drag this sucker all through the office and then beat him with a stapler. This is a real life something really happened. I'm gonna send it to y'all. Yes. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yes. He dragged him all through the office. Like, that's how Kamala going. Kamala is going to take him by <laughs> the foot and the head and drag him all up and down that stage for filth. Yes. <laughs> Bring out my Jamaican flag right now because that was. He's good. not ready. He's not ready. You know what? She gonna make Pence pay for what Trump did to Biden. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it just all work. What the Vaseline at? <laughs> Let me tell you something, Linda. It's going to be. You know what? See, you they can they don't make sure she don't come out looking like the. Angel I don't know. I don't think wait, I can. Wait, 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 real quick. You can imagine when Kamala was watching their debate. She probably was like, you know how when you want, you want to jump in the rope, like, ooh, yes, double touch, right, double touch, right, right. It's like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, not two. Back, focus to the screen, because I know I saw. I wish I was there. I was there. Tag me in, tag me in, tag me in. Oh, I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Oh, my God. Like, don't worry, I got us. I got don't you. Worry. I got don't you. <laughs> and she was, she was, she was bad calm. Like, oh. oh, that's what we're doing. <laughs> that's what we're doing. We talk about people's kids. Oh, uh, you asking about the Supreme Court picking because I won't answer you. And you told I'm not going to answer you because that's going to be everything that that's going to be the focus. I'm not going to answer you about that. You didn't denounce. The white supremacists going on, so you told them to stand back and stand by. Stand back. Oh, well, that's going to be even interesting oh. if that comes that, up. Who's you gonna, gonna um, use that? You, she is going to use that phrase. He Who, came from the, they um, came from the New York with that. Uh -uh, uh uh. They came from the New York with that. Well, now this New York, I think so. This New York, I don't know. Mm. Who's moderating? I don't know. Oh, okay, I was just. But I know it's not gonna be anybody from Fox because Fox did the last one, so it gotta be somebody from ABC. I love the names of Samuel Jackson. They don't need Samuel Jackson. Listen, Sam, I 
I know that you are not a journalistic um, commentator. They would have to sell tickets for that. Yes. <laughs> oh, you know. yes. They should put like a pay per view. <laughs> uh, Sam Jack, or you know who else? Who? Robert De Niro. Yes, he hate he Trump. Liberal. He hate Trump. Robert De Niro would be swimming with the fishes afterwards if he had. <laughs> I feel like he'd be swimming with the fishes. Yes. Listen, but you need somebody with. I mean, because Chris, he did try to ha hang on for as long as he could. Chris Wallace couldn't. Chris Wallace just was the wrong person. Couldn't control. That. Couldn't control that. But I don't understand with this overpowering of people talking, why can't you just mute the mic? I think that's what they're going to have to do for the next one. Like the e. Well, but the I was saying that, next but like, one with him, with, um, with, uh, with Trump and Joe, su supposed to be a town hall. He can't um, just keep on just like do it. that with the, the, the voters. Right. Because he can't seem them as if he's unhinged. So, you know, that needed to be the meeting. You know, when the Zoom meeting, you put the hand up on the side oh, of yeah. the. <laughs> did, did, did any of you? Did any of you catch Lindsey Graham and Jamie Harrison debate? No, but um, they said uh, Jamie. So parts of it. Because I got an email from him, and I also got an email from uh, Trump about Lindsey, but. Guy okay, getting all the Republicans. I'm gonna need you to um right. I just I'm got an email. I just got an email from Donald Trump Jr. saying my father is doing great. <laughs> and he said, Kaya, I have some good news. <laughs> <laughs> Did you tell you should write him back and tell him what your sister in law said? <laughs> what did, what did my sister in law say? <laughs> Read my last text about how I would believe all of this is happening with Trump. I'm not going to do that because um, uh, CIA and, and Secret Service can still show up at my door. Mm -hmm. So Pence, Pence tomorrow is refusing to debate with plexiglass. plexiglass. When technically he should still be quarantining. And isn't he the head of the COVID task force? Hello. Didn't he know that? Why would you, why would you? Why would you say you don't want to debate with plexiglass when you're the head of the COVID task force and you technically should be quarantining because although your tests have been coming up negative, you still have been exposed. So he should be under quarantine right now. Listen, Kamala, but, but Judy Giuliani said that this was their way of trying to get out of not, not debating with Pence because Pence was going to do what, Kaya, to Kamala? Not a daggone thing. I don't care what Rudy said. <laughs> I, I I stand by my statement. You are not, especially an educated black woman. I, people could say she not black. People could say she whatever. They could say whatever they want. Asian. She's half black. She's they South can Asian. say that she is sell out. She this. Right. You are not going to just with a black woman. Not not at all. Not at all. We will beat you for a second. Beat you for six. <laughs> and she does it like and then smiles. And smiles, right. Yes. Like, like, God did bless you. Did not see like the way she um that she spoke to Kavanaugh or well, you, want, you, want, you wanted me to reenact? Did you <laughs> yes, please do it, do it. Go ahead, do it. Do maybe oh, I got my hair out this time. I got my hair out this time. Wear your glasses. <laughs> Where my glasses at? Hold on, I think I got my glasses over here. I got to get my glasses. Hold on. I got, I got to get in care, a character. I got to get that. Yeah. Uh, going to wear my glasses. Huh? Come on, casting call. Come on. You know, I, you know my glasses ain't over here no more. I guess I might have. That book, that girl good. That girl good. You know, I was about to put. That girl good. She's annoying. Judge <laughs> <laughs> Kavanaugh. Can you recite or can you remember any laws that have been made to regulate what a man does with his, his body? <laughs> Anything, law, rule, pencil, eraser, anything that regulates what a man does with his body? 
Oh, I, I, I can't think of anything. <laughs> I'll rephrase the question. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I use my time. <laughs> yeah, no. It's she going to be, be a smooth, she's going to be shot at. It's a smooth operator. It's going to be a slaughter. Mm hmm. Some educated slaughter. Right. He going to come out looking like, uh, uh, what's the name Michael B. Johnson did? After he got beat down after the first uh, fight in Creed, Creed two, and he I came mean, out. I mean, he looked like he was. I mean, he was in the in the hospital. Like uh, Pence's wife is gonna be like this at his bedside. <laughs> mother, <laughs> mother. Yeah, zip through a straw. He gonna. <laughs> and then Trump gonna be on the phone. You <laughs> bitch. <laughs> Let that woman tear you down. He gonna say the the other n word. He's been, he's you been. Not the White House for a week. Pence has <laughs> been, Pence, this is why Pence is, you know, because he's been, he's been getting t uh, taught. Like, I, I wouldn't be surprised if Floyd Mayweather, because you know Floyd was at the, um, the inauguration. But I wouldn't be surprised if Floyd was uh, in the, in the room with him, showing him how to, you know. Uh -huh. How to bob and weave. You, <laughs> bob and use your weave. <laughs> He's been getting he's been getting tra trained by somebody to be a little more, you know, with the one line. Of, yeah. Yeah. You know, show him because the whole what is he Mormon or Protestant? Whatever. You know, he 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 they gonna have to he, he gotta he gotta get a as we speak, he's in the mirror right now practicing. <laughs> you are a beast. <laughs> you will win. You are kind. You are small. It's nothing to you. You, you can beat her. <laughs> That's what he's doing to himself. He don't it's, very important. it's very important that we do watch this debate and take it seriously and pay attention. Oh yeah. Because yeah. um because as we you know, as we stated earlier, Donald Trump, Joe Biden are seventy something year old men. Mm -hmm. And we have Mike Pence, who's in his early 60s. Mm -hmm. Kamala is in her late 50s, right? She's in her 50s. I'm not sure if it's I don't know if it's late or early. So we need to we need to really hone in on what type of sense what what sense of leadership we can expect from these two if in the event the president wasn't able to continue on they will step into this place. So it's, it's, we really need to pay attention to that and people need to understand how important the VP debate is as well because you will need a strong person to run the country if the president isn't able to do so. Right. She, she is in her late 50s. She's 56. Yeah, okay. She's 56. And that was a concern that we had discussed <clears throat> when Biden picked Kamala mm -hmm. and how we had discussed that people who were on the fence of picking Trump or Biden, now some of those Trump supporters that were going to pick Biden are indirectly thinking about picking Trump because they know that Biden, if he doesn't make it in his presidency, health-wise, there's going to be a Black woman running our country. Either way, if, if Donald Trump gets reelected, and or if Biden gets elected, they will both be the oldest um, elected presidents right. in the history, modern history of the United States. Right. Hot Topics gets even hotter. So stay tuned for seeing from the next episode of Between Sisters. Like up until the minute that we take, the news is just coming in. News is just like, and another one, he, he, J, he DJ Khaled. <laughs> That's what we gonna call him. Another one. 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 Another one.